YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with yet another boxing video. I'm coming on here with my recap of the fight that we just finished watching between Haney and Lomachenko. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload more videos like this one. So as y'all know, I am a boxing casual. I'm just now getting into the sport of boxing, but it's been really fun lately. The last time we did a boxing video was for the Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis fight. And I expressed to you guys how I felt. It was fun, you know what I'm saying? So I was going to cover more boxing, and here we are with Haney and Lomachenko. Now, I'm not going to lie to you all. I am surprised at this outcome. Devin Haney is this is the uh is remained the champ and now he's 30 and oh hell of a record and impressive performance by Devin Haney. But I definitely thought Lomachenko won this fight. Now I knew I knew this fight was gonna go the distance. I didn't expect anybody to to um to you know get knocked out or or it, it gets stopped early. I knew that because they they were too even, you know. Uh, they were too even, so I knew this thing was gonna go the distance. But I felt like Lomachenko won. I mean, especially from that from the later later rounds, like ten, like I would say probably like nine through eleven rounds. Lomachenko definitely was 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 up on on the scorecards, man. Uh, uh, Haney just looked fatigued. He looked like he wasn't trying anymore. Wasn't really trying to land any more punches. Um, and he was really being open in his defense. Like he really was being open. Um, but who knows? Because Haney, but you know, that's why you hear all the time. It's not how you start; it's how you finish. But in this case, what really won Haney was the fight. The fight was really how he was in the beginning. Because in the beginning, Haney Haney was winning the fight. You know, he was landing punches, um, and he was ba basically going to the body for real. You know, they and that's what the commentators were saying. Uh, I think I believe it was Timothy. And Andre, uh, and Andre on the commentary team, two boxing hall of famers, and they was basically saying that for Devin Haney to win, you know, try to go away from the head and uh, go to the lower body, the torso of Lomachenko, because yeah, he is shorter, but he he has a longer torso, and it was it was being successful for Haney early on, um, as he was able to land body punches. Uh, to 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 Lomachenko, you know, getting him weakened, and and you can start to see the redness of the side of his body, and then and Lomachenko at the end of the fight had you know blemishes on his face. So Haney definitely um put up a good fight. Both of these, it was even. Like I, that's why I was surprised that Haney won from the simple fact of how the fight ended. But I'm not surprised that he won. Like overall because it was pretty even man it was it was a good fight I, I wouldn't even be mad if they did a rematch of this one to be honest with you uh I think Haney himself was a little surprised that he won because the way he reacted when he when they heard that he uh won he he was like I mean I know when you win you're gonna be excited but it kind of was just like a little maybe shocked again I don't know again I'm a casual boxing watcher I'm new to watching boxing for real so let me know what y'all think down below am I tripping or or do y'all see it the same way that I seen it I don't know I just feel like maybe Lomachenko could have won. I think the final score was like one sixteen to one twelve on the scorecards, and then the last one was like um, one thirteen to one fifteen, all in favor of Haney. Uh, so shout out to Devin Haney, man. He uh talked about possibly leaving one thirty five. He's been in one thirty five since he was sixteen years old. He expressed interest in uh you know fighting guys like Javante Davis or Shakur Stevenson. I'll be real with y'all again. Let me know. If y'all are hardcore boxing fans out there, let me know. I don't know if Devin Haney's ready for Javante Davis. Like, I always hear Devin Haney, Javante Davis, Shakur, Shakur Stevens, all these guys as the as the next guys to face Davis and stuff like that. But I genuinely, I don't, after watching this fight, again, Haney wasn't terrible. But he definitely has some, you know, some things that he needs to work on and some things that 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 better fighters and well, better fighters with more power can explain. Because I honestly don't think, you know, Lomachenko, he, he showed much power. So that's why Haney was able to get away with, you know, 
staying no lasting in this fight. Yeah, he had some couple hits that Lomachenko landed to the face, um, to the chin of Devin Haney that kind of took him off guard. But imagine a much more powerful guy like a Javante Davis landing that punch. You're probably going down. So I don't know if Haney's ready for Davis. I don't know. Do y'all think he is? Uh, he has the belts. He has the, the undefeated record. So he has the experience. Okay, but I just don't personally know if, if it would be smart right now for Haney to, to fight Davis. But it may be the next thing because if he fights Javante Davis, that's definitely going to be a uh, record-breaking viewership. It's going to be a big, huge fight. Showtime boxing is definitely going to get that thing. So I definitely don't... um. Definitely don't think from that aspect of things it would it would it would be a bad fight. I just don't know if Haney's ready for him, you know. Um, but again, it was an overall good fight. I'm not I'm not hating on Devin Haney. I actually was rooting for him to win this Joe. So that the fact that he won is pretty good. Um, but I don't know, y'all. It was too even. That's why I'm like I'm shocked he won, but I'm not at the same time. Um, but. Hey man, uh, I, I'm new to this boxing, this boxing world, like I said before, and it's it's been fun, man. I I hear a lot of OG boxing fans tuning back in the boxing now, so maybe I'm arriving at the perfect time. What do y'all think? Cause I'm having fun watching this jump. You know, it it felt like a little bit of a later start, to be honest with you. Um, but it it was it ended around like you know twelve fifty ish. And uh, it was roughly about, you know, two hours, hour and a half of a fight. Twelve, It went the distance, went 12. It was scheduled for 12. Uh, the referee, he did a really good job. You know, he was letting Devin Haney know in between breaks that, you know, hey, watch where you're going behind the head, man, because uh, you go behind the head, I'm going to have to dock a point. He was letting him fight, you know, only really stepping in when he needed to, so the referee wasn't really a... Uh, uh, a factor. I think the only time the, the fellas hit the deck was when they slipped. Um, so it, again, it was a pretty even fight. I'm just a little surprised at the outcome because I definitely thought the later rounds, um, Lomachenko won though. So, and I thought since he won the later rounds, that that was probably going to carry over to him potentially winning the whole fight. But again, he is Devin Haney was in the, in, in the residence area that he resides in right now. Uh, but you couldn't even tell, to be honest with you. So you can't even use the home court advantage as a, as a reason why Haney won. Because there was a lot of Lomachenko fans, too. They was pretty much rooting for him. And you could hear it in the crowd. So, again, man, hats off to, to Devin Haney, his, his father, his trainer. Um, good fight, man. I, I Honestly, I would love to see it again. I don't know since that uh, Lomachenko is an older fighter, 35 years old, future Hall of Fame. I don't know if he was willing to do that again. Um, but it was a really good one, you know. And uh, shout out to Devin Haney, you know, winning yet another fight, improving a 30, 30 wins, man, at the pro level is amazing. No losses. So, I mean... I personally would love to see Devin Haney fight Javante Davis because, again, right now, I don't know who Javante Davis is even looking to fight. You know, Javante Davis, man, he's at the top of the, he's at the top of the chain, so he's chilling for real, for real. So all the people trying to go after him. So I, I don't even know who, if he's looking at uh, Devin Haney. Um, I would love to see the fight. I just don't know if Haney's ready for, for, for Davis. I really don't. But... Again, this is a casual boxing fan's opinion, a new boxing fan that's getting into the sport. Let me know any other big up-and-coming fights that I need to cover and talk about, man. I'll definitely tune in because I'm having super uh fun watching these fights. I mean, it's really just been any time Javante Davis has fought, now Devin Haney. Uh, I know... Um, I think there's another fight coming up here soon. I think... Is it Earl Spencer's fight here soon, I think? Um... You obviously got Shakur Stevenson maybe coming up here. So just let me know, y'all. I'm new to this boxing world, and I'm enjoying it. So let me know what y'all think. But there you have it. Devin Haney is now up 30-0, and 0 and he remains the champion. It's a little bit of controversial decision. Um, let me know what y'all think. I don't know. I, I am a little surprised. I'll say this until I get out of here. I am a little surprised that no judge was in favor of uh, Lumachenko. 
So I think that was what I was more so surprised at than really the overall picking of Haney because it, it wasn't really no no bad reason not to pick Haney. Like, it wasn't nothing where he was getting whipped the whole fight and then they picked Haney to win still. It was kind of more so of Haney had the first half, Lomachenko had the second half, uh, no later rounds, and it's even. But I'm, I am more so surprised that no judge picked Lomachenko to win. But, hey, let me know what y'all think. Leave y'all comments, thoughts down below. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti. See y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.